Hello guys, welcome back. Today we are going to do a bit of uh, photo manipulation and um, let's get started. So what I'm going to do is basically add a bit of contrast to this image and the way I do that, I'll just go to filter, lens correction, go to the custom tab and then play with the vignette. I'll go down somewhere around here, midpoint somewhere around here, maybe a bit more like this. This should be fine. Um, and after that, I'm just going to add a level adjustment layer. Uh, there we go. And I just pull in the black we use here, somewhere around there. So I want to make it nice and a bit dark here. That's great. So now we have got the photo. This is ready. And then I'm going to add a new layer. I'm going to call this glow. And put it in the group, call it glow. There we go. And once we have that, I'm just going to have um, this, lay, this color I picked from the cigar itself is WE8441. This worked really well for me. And I'm just going to basically have the size of the end of the cigar like this. Tiny bit bigger. This is fine, I think. Yeah. And then I'll open the layers type panel and I'm going to change the blend mode to color touch and it's already looking really nice but what I want to do really is turn off these transparency shapes layer so once you turn this off you see you'll get a more natural effect and you can play with the opacity here I'm gonna keep it a tiny bit down like this and then just kind of add maybe more here there, there we go yeah I like that so I'm, I'm, I'm ready with the cigar itself. I'm going to create a new layer, which is going to be the face glow. There we go. And I'm going to increase the size here. So, but I'm also going to lower the opacity somewhere around 30, 40. Yeah, let's see, like this. And just start painting it. And uh, the, 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 basically I'm just gonna paint in the area which is going to be affected by the light. I could actually use this very same layer as well, but I'm going to use this layer here and do the uh, settings right away. So it's a color dodge and remove this up, yeah, transpressor ships layer. And then just go down to like, I don't know, actually, I'm just going to leave it for now. Okay, and I'll just start and changing, just start to change the size of the, 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 the brush and just kind of like. I don't like it there. Okay, cool. And I'm just going to kind of like paint in areas. I think the light should uh, come stronger. Like this, something like that. Yeah, I do like this a lot. And then make it bigger, bring the opacity way down, and just kind of like bring in a tiny bit more here. There we go. That's great. So once we have that, I'm going to go and um, I like to use the Texture Lab website, uh, texturelabs.org, and just looking for some really cool textures. Uh, go into Atmosphere and down to this smoke here. You can open it, right click, copy image, and then go back to Photoshop and uh, just place it in. I'm, I'm not too bothered about the size, I'm just going to increase it to the, to the, to the size I need it basically. Once that's done, change the blend mode to screen, and there we go. Um, add a mask layer and just areas here and there, you know, doesn't have to be too strong. And then sometimes I just create another one and um, just blur it. Uh, go to filter, go to blur gallery, uh, blur and Gaussian blur, and then just blur it a tiny bit. Zoom in like 5, 10 maybe, yeah, and then again just uh, delete mask out the parts you don't want uh, to show, like we don't have to be too aggressive with it. And this is pretty much it, I'm happy with this. And then we can go back, uh, I do love this atmosphere catalog here, it's really cool. And just, just look around. Oh, I do love this floating dust. So I can just open it again. Um, is this the one? Or there's another one, I think. Yeah, this one, I think. This one's better, yeah. 
and copy, go back, paste, and then just uh, enlarge it like this. There we go. And change the blend to screen. And then again, you can mask out elements you don't want to see. Um, you know, just like this. Uh, maybe that's a bit too strong. There we go. Something like this. And these are like, I'm going to call them textures. There we go. And uh, what I was going to do is basically add one more layer, which is just going to be a gradient and just bring it in from the top, from the bottom, something like this. There we go. Uh, we could also play with the picture itself. Uh, let's turn this into a smart object and maybe add, um, let's see, let's add the field blur and now obviously the middle here, the center, I just want to use zero. Again here, the cigar zero. Just the bottom here, the arm could be a bit blurry. Uh, the background here could be a bit blurry. Not to come in too much. There we go. Maybe this side here could be a tiny bit blurry as well. Um, and then here again, zero. And let's see how it looks. Yeah, yeah, I think this is nice. So I can just uh, remove it, add it back. And yeah, I'm quite happy with this. I'm quite happy with this. And we could add some more uh, effect to it, but uh, you get the idea. So this is what I wanted to show you guys. It's super simple, super fast. And I hope you like this video. And uh, let me know in the comment section if you, if you like this type of content and I'll do some more of this. Um, Hit the like, please. That helps the channel a lot uh, to be more noticed by the, the algorithm so more people can see the content. I'd, I really appreciate it. All right. Thank you. See you on the next one. Bye.